Hi, welcome back to Blue Mountain Bushcraft and Outdoors. Today we're going to take a look at some pocket knives in the more traditional style. These are some knives that are produced by Old Timer, a subdivision of Taylor Brands. And these things are really nice. If you like traditional styled pocket knives, you're going to want to stay tuned for this video. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a total of six knives in this Genuine Bone series. We've got three that are a classic three-bladed stockman design. And we've got three that are a classic gunstock trapper design. Now, they all share some things in common. The handle scales here, the grips, are all a saw-cut bone handle. I'll show you on this one you can see that but there is some texturing some grooves cut in here that actually do provide a fair amount of traction the bolsters on these are a nickel silver the spacers are brass the through pins holding everything together are brass and the back springs that put tension on your blades are all stainless steel. The blades themselves on these are not the typical 7CR13 steel that Old Timer uses, but this is a higher grade steel. This is their 9CR13. Fit and finish on these, from what I can tell, is excellent. The springs and spacers and everything are nice and flat and even. They're smooth. There's no rough edges. The transitions from the bone handle here into the nickel silver bolsters are smooth and well done. Again, no edges, nothing that's going to catch you or scratch or anything like that. They're just really nicely finished and melded together. All of these knives came extremely sharp from the factory. The bevels look good. They've all got nice sharpening notches cut in here. So sharpening these is not going to be an issue if you're just wanting to use a traditional stone. Spring tension on all of them is good. They've just got a really nice, high quality feel about them. Okay, so let's take a look at these Stockmans first. The first model that we have here is the 340 TB. And again, like I said, this is a three bladed Stockman. It is of a dog leg design, which is basically just this overall curved shape of the blade. The main blade here, let's see, has the Schrade name on it, as well as the model designation, 340TB. And this blade is two and a half inches long. The overall size of this, when it's closed up, is three and a quarter inches. This middle blade is a sheep's foot design which is two and a quarter inches. And then you've got the small pen blade here, which is right about one and three quarter inches. Okay, the next up in size is the 80 TB. And this one has a overall closed length of four inches. The main blade is three inches. The sheep's foot blade 
is two and a quarter inches. And the spay blade on here is two and an eighth. And this is the one that has really kind of spoken to me and has been in my pocket almost continuously since I got these knives. I love this thing. All right, the last of these is the largest. And this is a pretty sizable blade. This is the 8580TB, and it has an overall closed length of four and a half inches with a three and a half inch main blade. Two and five eighth inch sheep's foot blade and a two and three eighth inch spay blade. Just to kind of give you a bit of a size reference for the 8580 TB, this large stockman. This is a classic Mora number one, and you can see that once this is open. It is very, very similar in, uh, in size. So if stockmans aren't your thing, again, like I said, they have three of these gunstock trapper models. These are all two bladers. This one is the smallest in the lineup. You can see it's a very small blade. And I'll show you here with the stockman while they are Close in size, trapper's a bit smaller and it's lighter as well. Again, this is the 720TB. It's got a 2 and 7 8 inch overall closed length. It has a 2 and a half, or I'm sorry, 2 and a quarter inch main blade and a 1 and 5 8 inch pen blade. The next in line is the 940 TB, and this is a 3 and 5 8 inch closed overall length. It's got a 3 and a half inch main blade, and a 3 and an eighth inch spade blade. These are the classic blade shapes for trapper knives. Again, get you close up here. Just look at the, the fit and the finish on these things. Everything is just smooth and tight and really well done. Blade nicks, I'm sorry, the nail nicks are where you can get to them. They're not hidden. It's just a really well thought out blade. Last up in this series is the 950 TB. Right, this has a overall length closed of four inches. It's got a three and a quarter inch main blade and a three and a quarter inch spay blade. All of these knives here have a very, very shallow hollow grind to them. Very shallow. But the edges are really fine. They're centered. Again, they've got the nice sharpening notches built in. Nice transitions, good actions. Spring seems solid. Just really, really impressed with these knives. Okay, so I'm not gonna do any kind of a big test with these. Um, like I said earlier in the video, this mid-size trapper, I'm sorry, mid-size stockman, the, what is this, the 80TB has pretty much been living in my pocket ever since I got these knives. All right, and I also said in the beginning of the video that part of the reason that I was attracted to these was because of the upgraded steel. And every single one of these knives came with a hair shaving edge on them. 
All right, so what more can I say about these? Well, all of them from the biggest one all the way down to the tiniest are under $25 brand new. And I don't think you can beat that for the money anywhere. I'm just a user. But from a layperson's perspective, the materials seem to be high quality. They're very well finished. They're smooth. They're solid. They get a really nice feel to them. And I think they just look great. They're beautiful knives. And with six models to choose from and, you know, these different size options, all of them under 25 bucks, I think it's a steal. All right, I really wanted to get a video out for you guys on these before Christmas. So today I'm recording this, it's Black Friday, shopping day. I'm nowhere near the stores, but I wanted to get this out to you guys so that if you know, maybe you're looking for a a gift for a friend or a relative or maybe just to pick something up for yourself these things are relatively inexpensive but they are by no means cheap very well made very well fit and finished and just a beautiful useful set of designs I really like them and I think you know if you're in the market for knives like this you'll probably like them too these are users not not collectors. Uh, links will be down below where you can pick one up for yourself. So check those out. If I give you an Amazon link for them, it's going through my portal and it helps support the channel and I'd really appreciate it if you'd use those. It, it helps me out a lot. So, all right guys, that's it. That's all I have for you on these knives today. If you're in the market, go check these out. I think you'll be favorably impressed. I know I am. And this one in particular is going to continue to live in my pocket probably for a very long time. All right, guys. If you like the video, do me a favor. Give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. We've got lots more content coming up. And uh, stay tuned because... I've got a new LT right knife that just got shipped to me today from Chris at Prepared Mind 101. This is a brand new prototype design, the J1, and it should be pretty epic. I'm looking forward to it. All right, guys, take care. See ya. Bye.